Hey, what's going on guys? Hope that one will be fine. So welcome back to another course. So in, in my last video, you watched it that we have our, that we add the users, we add the validation as well in the last, uh, in, in my last video. So I just show all the list, all the list of the users that we add and I show all the results on the table. So we use the bootstrap for, for the table, very simple. And uh, I also use the uh, filter uh, I also add the filter button too, so we can search the result on based of dates. All right. So the first name, last name, email of the dates, and a couple of names: Abdullah, Seed, Jaya, and the other other names as well. So we want to sort them on the base of dates. All right. So first thing I'm going to do is to if I want to if I want to search this on date of 13 of third month, all I need to do is to go to my calendar, and uh, I believe it's March. Uh, all right, it's 13. So you just want to filter them out. You see all the all the all the names Abdullah, Yaya, and the Amen with the date of 13. All right, so we can easily filter them out if I want to search the uh, other names. So I just want to refresh this because I don't know the accurate dates. So if I want to grab 24 date, so I have the 24. I just search it. So we can easily search through the Ajax. All right. So that's really much it, guys. And the last thing I want to show you, if I just want to add the date, which is not included in my table. And if I just try to filter them out, you see the message is no other found. All right. So that's what we are going to build. And uh, I hope you guys will enjoy. So please leave, subscribe, a like on this video. I want to come back to the coding section. All right, guys. So welcome back here. And uh, the first thing I'm gonna do is to simply connect the data. Um, I connect my database using this. So simply my SQL and so connect function for the PHP. Add some parameters inside the localhost root and the name of the database, which is the test app. Just want to zoom this so you guys can see properly. And uh, I add the head tags inside that very simple Bootstrap CD, and you can easily grab from there. And next we have the jQuery-UI.CSS for my, as I explained that in my first very video, um, um, after this video that um, this has been used for my date picker. And, and down there, I use my filter. So I just give it the input type of date ID. I pass it to the date picker and, uh, and the placeholder here as well. And down there is a button with the ID of filter. More important, just, just keep in mind the I, I, these IDs that how we have just done because while using Ajax, most of the things are done with the Ajax, especially date picker that we use. It's, it's required the ID, but this, this has been the button. Down we use the bootstrap. We have the table heading and inside we have a PHP function, which is the MySQL I fetch array. So this function will grab all the results from the database and show to our page. All right. So very simple. I use the variable and pass this dollar result. And this dollar result is coming from this, the, uh, the, the connection that and the query that we have means grab all the users and I also order by with the ID means that we can assign order by ID and by default it's in the ascending order. So what I did what I did is I just take this variable in and, and pass the name of the column and similar all results using the uh, using the row array and pass inside the PHP tags. After this I just put this all CD and I explained already this go very similar to my previous uh, video. So date format as I explained years month date and I pass this date underscore picker the ID that I give it to the I uh, just want to show you even though so you guys can see. So this is the ID for my date picker. I pass it pass it up here and then we use the Ajax function. We pass the URL the method type is post and the date data which is the date picker. And basically this grab the value and we put that inside our data and if the if the function works so this get underscore data is basically the id that i pass for my table and it will only show when i filter my results all right otherwise it's going to show you so please alert so please select date so i just haven't show you just want to refresh this try to filter that out you see this nice alert here all right Okay, now, now go back to the code for the filter.php where the things are going to work for us. So very simple. All I do is if, if there is a data coming from the backend, data underscore picker, then I include the connect.php fortunately. And uh, we pass the query here that select all the users 
the where date is date underscore figure. So basically this date underscore figure is getting the date from our value. This is the date underscore figure that um, there it is. So the date underscore figure. So this is gonna fetch the date and show the result, all the results on base of date. So this is all the, uh, I use the uh, result as a variable and pass the connection the query very simple explain already and then we append that so dollar output dot equal basically we append all the results of the table and um, and if there is a connection it means this mysqli underscore num underscore rows means that if there is a result inside the database and then fetch all the results as very much it's it's almost identical to the result that is shown on the table you see the same function mysql fetch underscore array and we also use the same here so we pass all the values very much similar and if there is no data found you see no order found so basically we append that result so it's very simple i hope you guys will understand lots from here and if you if you still have any difficulty you have any issue on this on this uh video or if you want if you if you didn't understand what's going on here so you can also leave my message on my facebook page aviation programmers if you haven't liked that please go and like us on there as well so that's really much it guys i hope you love and please leave a like and subscribe and share this video to the people and uh take care i want to see you for the next